you have three credit reports, and you have the power to influence the information that ends up on those reports. How? By taking seven steps to a healthier credit core. In the real world, things happen. Maybe you had credit problems in the past, recently lost your job, or had unexpected medical expenses. Perhaps you were a victim of fraud or identity theft, didn't realize it for a while, and are just getting those credit issues straightened out. On the other hand, maybe you already have credit that's pretty good, but you want to make it better before applying for a loan. No matter why you're looking to improve your credit situation, there's no better time than now to begin adopting core credit habits. So okay, what core habits do you need to adopt? Don't just pay all your bills, pay them on time, even if sometimes you can only pay the minimum due. Late payments are viewed negatively and stay on your report for seven years. Keep balances on your credit cards and credit lines low relative to your limits. Utilizing a high percentage of your available credit is likely to be viewed negatively by lenders. Apply for new credit in moderation because lots of recent applications can suggest you're getting credit hungry, which can also be viewed negatively by creditors. Maintain a healthy mix of credit. Credit histories containing a combination of mortgage, home equity and auto loans, as well as credit cards tend to be considered healthier by lenders than those with only credit cards present. Think twice before closing cards with high limits or ones you've always paid on time. Because in the short term, this may increase that credit utilization ratio we referenced and may ultimately eliminate part of your positive credit history. Monitor your co-signed and joint accounts monthly. If you've co-signed a loan or are a joint account holder on a credit card and the other responsible party fails to pay their portion as you agreed, your credit will suffer. And finally, review your three credit reports frequently throughout the year to ensure you know they accurately reflect the credit history you've earned over the years. Doing so through TransUnion or the other two national credit reporting companies will have no impact on your credit. With this information fresh in your mind, let's see how those seven simple steps can help make or break your credit reports. As we've said, your credit history ultimately is captured in three separate credit reports. Using a three-bureau report like the one available to consumers online at TransUnion, we can see in this first example a healthy mix of credit and until recently a good strong history of on-time payments. Then boom, three late payments not good from a lender's point of view. This person can expect to be viewed less favorably than in the past based on this recent negative activity. In this second example, we see lots of recent applications for new credit and high balances relative to limits, which are both likely to make her look credit hungry in the eyes of lenders. The next example reveals an excellent history of on-time payments, a healthy credit mix, low balances, and virtually no inquiries from new credit applications. Someone's following the seven steps. In this final report example, we see some payment problems a while back, but recently a very positive history. Except, what's this? Her name is misspelled on one report, and here's a couple of unfamiliar cards recently opened, and right at their limits on all three reports. Are these mistakes, or could they be possible signs of identity theft? What should you do if you see something in one or more of your reports that doesn't seem right? For more information, check out our video segment entitled, Ensuring the Accuracy of Your Three Credit Reports. Thanks for giving us the opportunity to share this important information. We invite you to learn more anytime at www.transunion.com. For information about the laws governing credit reporting and your rights as a consumer, visit www.ftc.gov.